Okay guys, um, <laughs> I, I just woke up this morning and you know, I have a huge cluster on my house. They actually recently changed the um, spawn points um, like a, a week ago. And my house was already really good for spawns. I got like maybe 15 or 16 spawn points, but now I easily get over 20 spawn points. Um, let's keep that off for now. But uh, I have over 20 spawn points, so I'm, I'm checking spawns in my house, trying to get some shinies. And I just got a new shiny today, right after I woke up and turned my game on. But there we go, shiny pit of number two. Pretty cool that uh, I just got this. It's still August, but uh, I guess this is gonna be the intro to the September events. So what is going on, you guys? It's Dominator here, and I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. It's the month of September. I mean, technically it's August 31st, but tomorrow is September. So uh, yeah, really cool stuff. We don't really know what events are going on. We just know about the research box changing and the what else the spotlight hours and i i want to assume there's going to be some sort of like normal type event or flying type event maybe it's a kanto event coming soon because one of the spotlight hours is spiro and normally the spotlight hours they go with events that they are featured in so for example they did um what was it they did the zubat I think it was Zubat during like a flying event or something like that. Or maybe it was Poison. I don't know. But they always kind of like work with each other. Like I think they did Clefairy during the Solstice event when Clefairy was spawning. They, they do stuff like that. So um, what they did, they did, what did they do for Dragon Week? I forget. They did, I, I, I keep forgetting. There's not many things I need shiny and that get featured from Spotlight Hours. And this is one of them that never gets featured at all. And... Or, I mean, I don't know what I meant. I mean, like, these four spotlight hours, I never, I don't need anything from them. Unless, of course, Shiny Spiro comes out. So, we're not sure about that yet. They still have to announce events. I don't know if they're hesitating on announcing events. But, um, I, I can't imagine it's because of COVID. Because we, we've had events all summer. Unless they're just trying to, like, tone it down a bit. But, I don't know. Hopefully, there's at least one event. I don't want, like, four full weeks of events like they have been doing. But... If there's like one or two, that'd be great. So uh, yeah, we got our second shiny pit of. It's terrible IVs, but that means I can actually. I'll just say on my text. That was really fast since my last one. One, two. That was my fourth check. So it was 82. I also checked four bell sprouts. So there's two bells. 82. So that's way better than the what was it like 800 or something for the first one. So I'll take that. Um, let's, let's trade it over and evolve one because might as well. I don't want to wait till freaking end of September to evolve this thing. So let me, uh, let me just trade my little account because my little account got the first one, which, uh, kind of sucks. I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't mind it when I get on the little, it's just more exciting because especially because I'm recording on my main, like all the time and my little can't really handle being able to record constantly. So uh, here's a Weedle. I don't really care if this is lucky or not. They're both really low CP. This one's only 60 CP. This one's actually pretty good IVs. If it goes lucky, then that'd be funny. They're both female. Huh. I hope I get a male for my third one because, well, I mean, I hope I get four, honestly, and one of them's male, one female, but I want to get both uh, genders of uh, Unpheasant. It's uh, not too great IVs. Honestly, it's better than the last one, though, so let's... Uh, Let's see, our recents, we, uh, this one's 300 CP though. <laughs> uh, does it matter? No, I'm just gonna evolve this one. So here we go. I, in my opinion, I think Shiny Tranquil is one of the worst shinies. It looks like they just put a bad green filter over it because, I mean, I don't mind green shinies, but this one doesn't look like it was supposed to look like this. It looked, <laughs> it looks like a regular un a regular tranquil but they just put a green filter over it it's just a weird weird green you can still kind of see the hints of the original color under it. it's so weird to me um at least like the eyebrows and the feet are purple that, that kind of redeeming and of course i get an email now that's great um we'll cut that out but uh yeah <laughs> yeah shiny tranquil uh my friend has like five or six male pit of so if i end up getting a third female or something maybe i can just trade him but um yeah so we're not sure how this event is going or how this month of events is going to work but 
if I get any new shinies, I will definitely see you then. I also have a leader here. I don't know what it is, but if I somehow get it shiny, I'll see you then. Oh, yes! Yes, shiny Spinda, let's go! Oh my gosh. It's so nice not being absurdly unlucky for these things anymore. Uh, for those that don't know, my first one took 184 Spinda tasks to get shiny. And then my second one took oh, just over 300. And yeah, so it was basically full odds for me, even though it's a 1 in 50 chance. And... We got it. We they finally changed the Spinda form. It's been uh, Spinda five for three months in a row, and I it was like the one time I got the Spinda both shiny and perfect. They decided to keep it around for three months when they used to do one month rotation, but they finally changed it. This is form number two, and I don't know if this form's ever been released shiny yet. So and it's cool that I got it, and that one only took thirty five. That was the second check. It took thirty five checks. So. A lot better than the usual, uh, however many it is. Um, how, how many is it? How many is it usually? So like one in 50, and it takes me like over 100 every time. But yeah, it's it's a nice change, a nice change of pace. So, so yeah, Shiny Spinda, uh, now I have form two, five, seven, and eight. Um, they have yet to release form four shiny or nine shiny and i missed out on six and three so hopefully they will release re-release those again because i'm actually making good progress towards these but yeah um events are still going on if i get any more shinies i will definitely see you then okay guys i just got a really awesome shiny it's the i don't even know what event it is it's like the raid mega raid event but there's just like random spawns and there's a lot of good things I need and I just got a well-deserved shiny. It is shiny Magnemite at my house, of course. That's why it's not live, because it's at my house, but uh, we're not we're not messing around with this. Golden Raz Ultra Ball, that took 1,890. Now Magnemite sucks because my first one took over 1,300. So I've done like almost 3,500 encounters for just two shiny magnemites i need one more still but i'm glad i got this i can finally get magneton but really happy with it that was hopefully the third one doesn't take nearly as long because man and maybe pvp ivs probably not but um yeah shiny magma let's check the hominite if that was shiny oh my gosh that'd be insane but uh yeah if i get any more shinies i will definitely see you then Okay, guys, um, I literally, like, I woke up, like, 20 minutes ago, and I decided to load up the game, and the first, this is insane, the first check I got, first shiny check, shiny Magnemite again at my house, oh my gosh, literally just completed the line, which is insane, I got the last one yesterday, <laughs> so getting them, like, so close together is insane. My first one took over 1,300 encounters, and my second one took, like, 1,900 encounters. It was, like, 1,890. So, it was well-deserved that I get a third one, but I didn't expect to get a third one at all that fast. That took, let's see, that took 25 checks. 25. That's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Now, all I need from this event is a shiny Ammonite, and look at that. There's an Ammonite right here. Not shiny. I mean, I would like... I definitely wasn't gonna get back to that, but I'm gonna be grinding for Ammonite if that's the only shiny I need from this event. And this event's so cool because there's a few really rare shinies, or not really rare, but like kind of difficult to obtain shinies um, from Gen 1 that I don't have, and it was Magnemite and Ammonite, and I needed two Magnemite and one Ammonite, and I just got two Magnemite, which is insane, but. Um, yeah, really cool. I didn't expect to get that many, and that's just crazy. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, what I need from Gen 1. 
They're gonna release Shiny Doe Duo soon, we found out, but basically it's just like, I need Persian, I need two of the, I need Weeping Bell and Victory Bell, but those won't be too hard, because we live in a grass biome, whenever there's not an event, they kind of spawn everywhere, so that's whatever, um, see, so yeah, I need, I need Muck, Persian, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, I need, like, Jinx, because that doesn't spawn wild, and you can't hatch Shiny Smoochum, you can't hatch Smoochum at all, so... That's why I need that. I'm trying to think. That might be it. Um, there might be one or two more things I am forgetting. Oh, I need a gold bat. I need a gold bat. And that might be it. But, like, literally getting this two Magnemite was insane. If I get an Omidite, that'll be even more insane. And then hopefully I can get a couple shiny Doduos. Because the Doduo is kind of rare for us. Also, they are going to also release uh, shiny Ledibah. I forget when. I don't know what order they go in. But shiny Doduo and shiny Ledibah are both coming. So that's pretty cool. I like when they release older shinies. I, I'm, I got kind of annoyed that they kept releasing Gen 5 shinies. It's like, seriously, you're doing all these Gen 5 shinies when there's, like, just finish off, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2. Come on, especially Gen 1. There's only a handful of Pokemon left in Gen 1 to finish off. But, yeah, there's there's my uh, ramble for the day. But shiny Magnemite, we got three of them now. I might just evolve them later. I don't think I want to wait till the end of the month because it's literally, like, September 2nd. So, actually, it's September 3rd. But, uh, yeah, Septem it's September 3rd. I don't know if I want to wait till the end of the month. I'll probably evolve them later. But, yeah, um, if I get any more new shinies, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys, I just got an insane shiny. As you can see, it's 2.13 in the morning. I just It's just really late or early, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I was getting ready to go for go go to sleep, and I was like, let me just check to see if there's any good spawns. And sure enough, I got a shiny Ammonite. Man, I've been popping off with this event. I only needed from this entire event, I only needed one Ammonite and two Magnemites, and I got all of them just at my house, clicking spawns. It's been crazy. But yeah, that completes the Ammonite line for me. That. I completed this event. I have every shiny from this event now. It's awesome. Not too bad IVs. It's a pretty good CP too. That was the third check I did. So that took 1,040 encounters. We can delete that counter. Another counter done. There's only so many shinies I need from Kanto currently. I need a Meowth. I need a Zubat. I need two Bell Sprouts. I'm trying to think of what else I might need from Kanto. I'm not going to include a whole one Diglett, but. Oh, and Grimer. I need a Muck. So, I think that's it for Kanto Shinies. But, yeah, that really, really helped out. And I don't think I clicked this one yet. So, let's see if this one is shiny. Too bad. No. Of course not. But, like, I did not expect to get a shiny Ammonite. There's only, like, one full day left of this event. And I got everything just sitting at my house. Um, I only went out a couple times. I was planning on grinding for Ammonite just because it's spawning quite a bit. But... I guess I don't have to, so unfortunately nothing's like really live, I'm just kind of showing like the highlights, but uh, maybe when the uh, next couple events come out for Doduo and Lediba, I can get some live ones, but yeah, until then, I will see you once I get the next shiny. Okay guys, I'm back, I wanted to do some evolutions because uh, I don't want to wait till the end of September to do this, so let's just do some evolutions, I have uh... Plus Magnemite and Shiny. Finally completed this line. This took way too long, but let's do... Uh, I think this one's decent for PvP, and it's the best IV one. So we're going to evolve this one into Magnezone. Did I say the best IV one? I meant best CP one. Or did I say it right? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Best CP one and potentially the best IV one so there's shiny magneton and i dropped a magnetic lure down couldn't evolve due to an unknown error what what all right let's try this again there we go all right it must just like be weird if you uh use a, an item to evolve a pokemon like that when you just evolved to get that Pokemon. It might be like a weird coding thing. But there we go. Shiny Magnezone. Really cool. 
Um, probably my least favorite of the three shinies, but it's my favorite of the three Pokemon, and I think Magnezone is really sweet. So there's Magnezone, and then let's just evolve this high CP one to a Magneton. And that completes the line for us, and then I gotta do Ammonite, which is pretty cool. So here we go. I did not think I was gonna complete this line, but I got them really close together. And yeah, I was so unlucky with this line, it took me like 30 something hundred encounters to get all three when it's a 1 in 450 chance like that's pretty bad luck but there's our entire line now let's do plus ammonite and shiny so we got this one and this one and i think this one's technically better ivs but this one potentially good pvp i don't know i don't know how big this thing gets but uh it's bigger cp so i'm just gonna evolve it i don't really care about the ivs too much Unless it's like really good, then I care, but it doesn't really matter. So, finally getting Amstar. There's only a handful, I think I mentioned this when I got the Ama. There's only a handful of shinies left I need from Kanto after getting these ones, so that's great. They're releasing shiny Lediba and Doduo later on. So, I'm gonna need Doduo for Kanto, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. But there's uh, Amonite and Amistar, really cool. Ooh, this can be an Ultra League. I wonder if it's a high ranking, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, uh, I will see you if I get any more shinies. Okay guys, I'm at my house and I'm kind of a little worried. Um, would you like to turn off it now? Okay, um, I just got a shiny at my house. I've been recording like all day and I haven't gotten a shiny. And of course, when I get home, I get a shiny, but here we go, shiny bell sprout number two. This is on my little account, and I'm I, I'm gonna be quick with catching it because um, they they just announced that you have to update to iOS 12 on uh, on any older phones to be able to run Pokemon Go starting in October, and so I did that, and it kind of really ruined my older phone. It crashes nonstop. I can't do like raids or trading or research or anything, but. Uh, it can catch Pokemon, so I guess we got that. I'm just worried it's gonna crash and the thing despawns, but there's Shiny Bellsprout. Of course, it's like insanely good IVs. It's gonna get traded over, that's no big deal though. It's not like it's gonna be that good anyway. I don't need a good Shiny, but that was the 424th check, so just under odds, not basically around odds. And yeah, Shiny Bellsprout number two. I just need one more to complete the line, so. If I get any more shinies, hopefully we get something live. I've been trying to get them shiny, uh, live. I've been going around grinding a little bit, but next next shiny we get, hopefully it's live, and I will see you then. It got banned and uh, doubled because it was uh, actually- Oh! Four got banned because it was too busted of a trick run. I was gonna say, I'm like, I know Porygon 2 is like super good. I don't really care for sending shinies to Pokemon home from through Go, unless it's like Genesect, because Genesect's not really possible to get in Pokemon home otherwise. I think they're getting ready to implement that because I've seen some yeah. things circulating where they're just like, oh. Well, hey. for, like they also have to re-release Shiny Meltan, and I feel like they're waiting for the compatibility to come out. It's just be fair. It is shiny, right? Yeah, okay. but it's really. I don't care what the CP is. I'm giving him a shiny uh, Santa hat Pikachu for, he's giving me a shiny Mimikyu costume Pikachu. Hey, Dude, I have that. See you. No, I don't. Wait, where's my, I wanna make sure I'm not like You're gonna max up that victory deal, bro. Okay, yeah, I have a Pikachu that's yeah. best buddy. Yeah, I know. You're getting this one, cause it's the only one, one I can trade. In the game. Is it real? Yeah. Dude. It's been so long. You know they're gonna re-release this for Halloween. I'm gonna get it like first check. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't care though. I had yeah. five of the Santa Pikachu. So. Unlikely, because they've added like a lot it's more. True, they're it's adding so twenty good. more costumes for probably fall. Dang, it's hot. Dude, stupid. they need to stop. They, dude. they really need to. They just need to re-release old ones. Kind of stupid. Yeah, what's the point of that? It's to it's for fear hey, of missing guys, out, so people more play more, no, so they can get the limited time stuff. Dude, it's only one CP off from perfect. I don't care. I love this shit. I, I love, dude, Mimikyu is one of my favorite Pokemon too. This is like one of my favorite Pikachu's. <laughs> wow, it wasn't <laughs> even like a nutrient stick. Whatever. Hey! Hey! When does it end? <laughs> they just keep.
keep coming. Can you use the warm back if somebody else already did? Not on the stop that someone used it on. You wait till it goes away. My reward was a warning. Nice. What do you have to do to own a Ferrari? Uh, I have, have a lot of money. Yeah, we can get shit, but like the incense won't yeah, go so away. Dangerous. So you go, boom, boom. Oh, you missed that one. <laughs> oh, and I hate when they go in this corner. Oh, I got another shiny, let's go! I suck at throwing it because I try to curve it like this. Yeah. My shiny broke out, yikes. Have any of them run from you? Um, I have had, I think I've only had one shiny run from me and it was because I was speed locked. We, I was in the, we were like camping and we were going somewhere. You do that if you drive too far away, it, it automatically runs. It's if you go over 50 miles an hour. It'll automatically run. But that's what happened to me with a, it was a shiny wing hole, but it was a boosted odds at the time. So it wasn't like that big of a deal. Ugh. Okay guys, um, continuing the trend of just getting all the new shinies that I need at my house. We got another one. I knew this would happen. I haven't, I mean, I went out and grinded and didn't really get anything. And then of course I get them at my house, but haven't grinded in a few days, so I, I did know this was gonna happen, but we got Shiny Lediba. I noticed it was one of those things that I clicked on it. I thought, huh? I was well, like, I originally thought like, Shi oh, that's a Shiny. And then as it was like zooming out, I'm like, is it though? And then it sparkled, I'm like, oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So not an interesting Shiny, but a new one nonetheless. Shiny Letty Bells, check its IVs. Oh, good PvP. I don't even know what CP Letty and gets to, but it this can't be good for it. Like, I don't think it gets 1500 CP max because it's a terrible Pokemon. But uh, yeah, Shiny Letty that took that was the first check of this session, so that was 347. And we need one more, so let's not teach it a new charge attack. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just do a check really quick on this one. Like, imagine a back-to-back, -back, that'd be nuts. But, uh, yeah, if I get any other shinies, I will definitely see you then. Okay, guys, um, it is currently 1.43 a.m. Um, I'm, like, ready to get to bed, and I open up Pokemon Go, check my spawns. First thing I clicked on is an insane shiny. I'm so happy for this. Shiny Duskull. This is my third shiny Duskull. And this is a big one. I, I will I'll tell you how many encounters it took. But uh Duskull's been a hard one. Um coming the Halloween events, it'll have been in the game for three years. And I'm just now completing the evolution line. This could potentially be good for PvP, I don't really know. Uh, if it is good, but that took a total of 1,505 checks. We can finally delete this counter. I'll do that later. But uh, the first one was terrible. The first one took like, I think it was like 1,400 something. 14, I think it was 1,452. I think I actually have um, plus Duskull. Yeah, 1,452. Um, at the time, it was my longest hunt. My second one was a lot better. My second one took like, I think it was less than 300, like 270 or something like that. And then my third one took the longest at just over 1500. So it has been quite the grind to complete this evolution line. I will evolve it in a few days once uh, I do the end results. Hopefully I can get some time to grind Doduo. I've been pretty busy. Um, Doduo is the only shiny I need from this event, but uh, there's actually a Doduo here right now. That'd be insane if I got back to back, but not going to happen this time. But yeah, that is basically it. Um, Lediba, not shiny. I still need one more of these, but yeah, at my house, really late at night. Shiny Duskull, I'm very happy with that. So if I get any more shinies, I will definitely see you then. Here. Yeah, but don't worry, somewhere a lot of them are more green, so... I don't care what neck they are. Neck. Oh! Black neck. Yes, dude! Wait, I gotta try to record this and have it not crash.
Oh, don't crash. No, it crashed! No! It's still there, though. Honestly, hold up, hold up, hold up. It'll be it'll be better if I just swap accounts, right? It'll take too long. It'll take too long to re to uh, load up. I don't know if it's still there. I already caught them all. It all right, let's uh, let's let's hope it's still there. I'm getting notified. Let's turn that off. Yeah, it's still there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, who would have guessed? <laughs> it's shiny. <laughs> no way. Um, I still have to check one more. Actually, I think I checked it on me. That was like the third check. 234, let's go. I'm glad I got one. That was, that was the goal to get just one, so. Satisfied. It's probably really good IVs. It's really good. Really good. Really good. I didn't need to favorite it that. Really matter, so. There's a lapras here. Yeah, no. Okay, guys. I just got another insane shiny at my house. I can't believe I keep doing this, but shiny Doduo number two. <laughs> I can't get any shinies live anymore. They're either at my house or they're on my little which are kind of live with because you get the reaction, but you don't get to see them like right away, which is, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe next month I'll start getting some more shinies live on my main account, but shiny dojo number two, that is insane. That took 83 checks. We can delete that. This one is, I think female is the one with the tan neck. Yes, it is. Decent IVs. I will trade over the other one later today and then I will evolve at the end of the video. This might be it for in terms of shinies. I can't imagine I get anything else that's new. Like the, the Duskull was shocking, but dang. I can't believe I got Doduo so fast. It was like 300 total checks. So yeah, um, if I get any other shinies that are new, I will definitely see you then. If not, I will see you in the recap. Okay guys, September events are basically over. It's the last day of the last whatever mega event this is. They, I don't even know if they had names. They were just like three separate mega events and they didn't, they didn't really have names. But anyway, let's go through our results. Now, it's been a while, so I had to look back at my previous video to see what the last shiny I got was. And the last shiny I got from the previous video was Geodude from Spotlight Hour. So looking back, we ended up getting a full odds research Baneri, which funny enough is, uh, there's, I've only gotten like five of these. Research, yeah, five. I've gotten five full odds research shinies total, which is kind of insane. I do a ton of research. I, I'm kind of surprised I don't have more of those. Um, I have, I've gotten tons of boosted odds research, but like full odds, one in 450 shinies from research. Only gotten five of those, so that was really exciting, despite the fact that the IVs are terrible, as per usual, except for that uh, Haunter I got. But uh, yeah, moving right along, we ended up getting a second pit up, so we got our Tranquil. There's pit up. They're both female, so hopefully the next one is male, so I don't have to worry about getting both genders for Unpheasant. I can just like get a third one being male, and then if I happen to get another one that's male, I can just evolve one of these ones. Or if I get another one that's female, I'll have the male already. So. There's a uh, Tranquil right there. We got a random Weedle. I think this was at my house, so yay. Uh, Aerodactyl, Boosted Odd Shiny. It was during one of the events, I guess. I forget what the events were called. This one was like the low tad event, but it it had some it had some nuts shinies. It had uh, Magnemite and Ammonite, which were huge for me. And I ended up getting two Magnemites at my house. This one is evolved to Magnezone. Uh, we got a Magnemite right here. You saw that I already evolved Magneton. I'm not going to go all the way back and search for that one. And then uh, we ended up getting a Shiny Spinda number two. This was really exciting because it only took like 30 some checks, which nor like, you know, my la my my first one took like 180. And then my second one took over 300. 
and it's a 1 in 50 shiny chance. So after that 300 one, I ended up popping off with them. Like I think I got one in like 6, and then I got one in like 20, and then I got one in 30. So it's, it's evening out now, the odds. And I'm glad to have been popping off with this one. Hopefully they change them once a month. The last one they had for three months, which I thought was ridiculous, but... Hopefully they change them once a month again because I want to I want to grind the next one now. I want to get I hope it's I would assume it's form four coming next because that's I think that's the only one that hasn't been re-released out of all the original forms besides the uh, Valentine's form nine. But I don't know if they'll do that. I think they'll maybe wait till Valentine's Day. But there's spin to two. We ended up getting two Omnites at my house as well. It's insane. One of them. I mean, none of these things were really live because I got them in my house, so I wasn't, like, recording nonstop. But uh, I highlighted them. I highlighted one of them. The other one I got, like, super late at night at my house. Pretty crazy. I ended up evolving one to Amistar you saw in the video, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Got a Tangela. This is, like, my sixth Tangela. I got five during GoFest, which was absurdly lucky. I ended up getting two Lotad, which is whatever. I mean, that's a really cool shiny, but I already had, like, eight of them from the Lotad research day. So, uh, I think I have 10 now, if I'm not mistaken. I got Nidoran male, which is, uh, I have way too many Nidoran males, but I only have three female ones, which is insane. I did one Cresselia raid. I think I actually did two total, but my first Cresselia raid I did was shiny and it's terrible IPs, but whatever. It was a free pass, so well worth it. Then I got shiny Bellsprout, number two at my house. Really cool. This one I lost my mind with. I didn't show this because it's not like I need a shiny Trico. I mean, who needs shiny Trico? We had a community day. But I got this from Go Battle League. This is a full odds shiny, one in a 450 chance from a Go Battle League encounter, and it's 98%. I am 100% waiting for Community Weekend to evolve this. I was so happy because the Trico line is one of my favorite shiny lines. I don't care how common it is in this game, I will always take a shiny Trico, especially if it's this good IVs. Like, I mean, a Torchic and a Mudkip would not have hit the same for me. It definitely would not have. I mean, maybe a Torchic, but because Blaziken's really good. But not a not a mudkip. Definitely not a mudkip. I guess mudkip's good too, but yeah, really excited about this. That was insane. I can't believe I got that. Then another event happened. I forget what it was called, but it had it was bug themed and I got shiny Ladybug. I ended up getting a shiny Wormple. I don't think you guys saw that, but it's whatever. I was actually trying to click a Ladybug and I accidentally clicked a Wormple and it was shiny. So that's that's me. That's my seventh shiny Wormple. I don't know if I'll evolve it. I might wait till I get more, see if I can get more, like multiple of the evolution line, but I already have two Cascoons, so I don't want to get a third Cascoon, so there's that. Then uh, Shiny Pineco, that's whatever, it's boosted odds. I got a Shiny Chikorita, which honestly, I can't believe I don't have more of these full odds because I click them nonstop because it's always clear weather, and this is one of the few community day Pokemon I need perfect with the move. And I, I always check them to see what their CP is to see if they're perfect. And I ended up getting a shiny, and this was also at my house. I got a lot of shinies at my house. That'll be the trend. Uh, Porygon day happened. We got a ton of Porygons. Uh, I don't think we got any good IV ones, but I ended up evolving my perfect Porygon. Or no, I, I evolved my perfect Porygon from, uh, from a rocket stop earlier and then Elite TM'd it to give it Tri-Attack so that it has Return and Tri-Attack, because I think Return is the superior move for Porygon Z. And that's pretty cool. I love having the Legacy moves on it. Then I traded, I finally traded one of my friends for a Mimikyu Pikachu. He had two of them, and he wanted a Santa Hat Pikachu, which I had five of. So actually, I think I had more. I might have had more than five, but I know I got five from the last event they were featured for Christmas. And we finally did the trade. It's really bad CP. I don't really care though. I'm gonna best buddy it. And it's just another costume shiny added to the collection. They're adding more for October, but we'll see how we do on those. Cause I'm getting less and less. I'm losing my interest in those because they're just such a scam. Uh, moving right along, we got some legendaries. We got Articuno 93. This is a 93% Articuno. I was going hard for Articuno raids this time, even though I had the perfect from the uh, Go go fest rocket purified thing but i was going hard for this because i wanted a shiny with hurricane i didn't want to elite tm my 96 and it worked out because this one is only one hp less than my 96 percent my 96 is also 13 attack but it has 15 hp so i might max this so it'd be cool to have a uh, hurricane ice shard um 
Lucky Farfetch. I got this from my little account. This was way back when, when they did the the regionals in 2Ks, and I just got Lucky Friends on my little, so I traded it over because I want Lucky Shiny Regionals. Finally completing Duskull. I was so happy. Wow, we get a lot of Shinies from this month. This is insane. Uh, this might be a long video. I didn't realize. But uh, finally getting Shiny Duskull. I, so they announced the spotlight hours for October, and there's like two of them being Pikachu with different hats, which honestly, say what you want about like the hats and stuff. I think that is a great idea for them doing spotlight hours for the hat Pikachus, especially the, the original cap Pikachu. I love the fact that they can release old costumes through spotlight hour. That is such a good idea, and I hope they continue that. The new one though, I mean, it's whatever. Hopefully you can send it to Sword and Shield because I, I want one for Sword and Shield just in case I don't do that event when it comes out. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. But they, the events, the spotlight hours for October are two of them being Pikachu, one of them being Duskull, and one of them being Shuppet. And I was like, I got to grind three of out of those four, which the last one is Duskull. But I don't have to grind Duskull anymore because I just got this randomly at my house. Uh, it took like... Uh, it was probably nearly 4,000 checks. I said in, earlier in the video, so you'll probably see that. Uh, moving right along, we got two shiny Zapdos. I'm not done with these yet. I'm going to be raiding hard for Zapdos. I really want a perfect one to match my Articuno. And then we got a Skarmory. It's a boosted out shiny. No one cares about that. I got a Lapras. It's a boosted out shiny, but it's actually a really cool boosted out shiny, so I care a little bit about that. And then we straight popped off with Doduo. We got three shiny Doduos. I probably clicked on 330 total to get three of them. Two of them are female, one of them's male. I will probably evolve a female one just because if I get another shiny, I kind of want it to be a male one so I can have both genders for both uh, evolutions. And the male one sucks. So I'll probably just evolve this 903. But that's basically it. Then we just got the Electrike earlier today when I woke up. So, and then that's that's not anything new for me. It's just it's it's cool shiny. It's my third uh, my third Electric though. All right, so let's do some evolution. So obviously we're just gonna do Doduo. It's right here. Uh, here we go. Shiny Doduo over to Dodrio. Really excited about completing this. This one I was a little worried about. I missed out on completing Ladybug, but that one I still see Ladybugs all the time. So that's totally fine. So there we go, Shiny Dodrio. I find it kind of strange that Shiny Dodrio's tail remains exactly the same. It's that weird pink color, but uh, it kind of looks weird. But other than that, Shiny Dodrio is pretty cool. So there's that. Then we got we got to do Duskull. We got to do Bell Sprout. Anything else that's new? I already evolved everything else. So just do uh, just Duskull and Bell Sprout. Let me exit out of that for some reason. So we got plus Duskull and shiny all right we got lucky number 1452 i might uh, that one sucks that one sucks too this one's the best iv one what the heck i guess we'll evolve this one to dusk noir um they're all terrible that's fine it's not like we get weather boosted duskulls because foggy weather does not exist in this game i feel like foggy weather is more of a glitch than an actual system because when it is foggy weather the game can't figure that out and says it's either cloudy or rainy non-stop so dusclops going down and then we'll evolve this into dusk noir so here we go but yeah foggy weather's weird i've only done one weather boosted absol raid and i kind of like thought it was crazy that it was weather boosted we had a stretch last year in i think it was october or november where like we had days of foggy weather and it just kept switching between cloudy and rainy so foggy weather does not really exist in this game it's kind of annoying there's dust noir nowhere near as cool as the other two but still pretty cool and i'm finally glad to have completed this line also that was like my, my best cp one too so that's pretty excited that i got that um hopefully they spawn during halloween because i am cool to get more it's a cool shiny i love the shiny dust skull so there's that and then i think plus bell sprout is the only one we gotta do plus bell sprout and shiny so we're only evolving one we don't have three and i'm assuming i'm evolving the second one yes the second one is much better ivs and much higher in cp so here's going to weeping bell only need one more of these but i'm not worried because they're really common and i think it's clear weather for us and we get clear weather all the time 
So there is Shiny Weeping Bell. This one's honestly kind of lame compared to the other ones. Victory Bell's pretty cool, though, so hopefully we get Victory Bell soon. But knocking off some more Shinies on the list, and I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the Domination, and I will see you in the next video.